all right, guys. So I have the lyrics in front of me, as you can see. Look yes. at this. <laughs> yeah. You see that? <laughs> if, like this is what we said before. If we studied this hard at school, uh -huh. yo, we've been at Harvard right now or uh, something. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I struggled mm -hmm. with this one line. Yeah. Because I had no idea how I was gonna explain this. Right. Because the way they said it, it's so easy to say it in Korean. Because mm -hmm. I know exactly what I'm trying to say. But in English, that same culture doesn't like equate. It you know, right. it's not equivalent it's to, to the explain. culture here. Yeah. So like, I wanted, I wanted to make sure I explained this perfectly mm -hmm. with examples. Yes. But without further ado, let's get to it, Professor let's Andy. It. Let's right. go. Andy <laughs> took Professor. Let's go to what? What? Oh, took, took. Yeah, oh, took. I think you said took as in T O O K. I and think I you like, meant what as in like, nah. I got that no, from my I feelings. Give, no, I give you that. <laughs> I thought you literally meant Andy took professor yeah, like took, took like took him and i was like that's what? my ability is being a professor or i at least try i like that Come on, i like that okay and let's then jazz took prof professor no, 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 not professor TA. guys uh Come yeah on. yeah yeah you give you give me uh assistant assistant <laughs> assistant, assistant teacher on, yeah okay. let's get it but for the first part the intro changbin says so as in yogin is howl tukbeoshi they call howl tukbeoshi as in a special city, literally a special city, and it's the capital of Korea. But they say, as in, all sorts of mirac miracles have been generated here. Right. They're talking about all sorts of stars that were born in Seoul. And not just stars, but like special events such as like the 1988 Olympics and the 2002 World Cup, because at the 2002 World Cup, there was an actual miracle where they actually went to the semifinals in the World Cup where they matched up with Germany. And they might be saying they were the next gen. Exactly. Yeah. So look at them again, paying respect to the ones that came before them. All right. these stars have been made mm -hmm. in this special city of Seoul. Yes. Come on, bro. And after that, they say, I actually explained this in the, the teaser video mm -hmm. or the mashup video. But what they're saying here is between the covered stars, something special arose. Mm -hmm. And that something special is Stray, Stray Kids. Kids. Meaning like what you said, they could be talking as if like, yo, we're the next generation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love that. And then the next part is verse one, where Hyunjin just slows that yes. shit down. I love the way he started that, by the way, you guys. <sighs> I God love damn. it. Yeah. I fell in love. I oh, I was already Come in love on. and I I didn't think I could fall more in love, but I did. you were in love with me. <laughs> no. That's a different type of love. But it's okay, it's Hyunjin. <laughs> yes, Come on. Yes. Who says no to Hyunjin? Yeah. Come on, I wouldn't say no to Hyunjin. No. Come on, but what he's saying here is <laughs> clean it up, clean it up, get back. So this is one of the ones that were that it's gonna be really hard for me to explain. Mm -hmm. So the literal translations would be so like the fact that there are all these 별나다, 별나다, remember I said it's like all sorts of weird people or weird things, right? There's all sorts of them everywhere and never changes. It's always the same, right? right? But they're saying 번화하는 거리. 번화하다 means to like flourish, mm -hmm. like it's bustling, right? Yeah. They're saying 거리 is road. It's like these roads, like remember they were performing in like yes. the neighborhood roads. And then they're saying in these kodis, these roads, it's flourishing. Mm -hmm. Although they're not changing, it's flourishing. Mm -hmm. But, but, yes. Kori kori mada. In some roads, though, in some of these roads, kollijakorinung ko. Kollijakorida means something that gets in the way. Like you know when you walk, mm -hmm. and then you, and then something kind of gets in the way, or you're like, you're like oh. what the hell, and you kick it away. Uh -huh. It's like that. Something's in your way. Right. Meaning like, and what is it? It's trash. It's trash, dog. <laughs> like we said in the teaser, remember you guys? In the teaser, yeah. we were like, are those trash bags? Like, what are those? Trash. Bro. We were correct. <laughs> it's trash bags. I don't know who they talking about. God damn. I don't, I'm not Whoever gonna they're say. talking about, they're I'm not gonna, gonna say. Obviously, somebody give them a box of tissues. Yeah. Ouch. Honestly, I'm not gonna Woo. lie. Obviously, it's haters. It's and, there's, haters. and there's no problem with that. Because mm -hmm. if they're hating, then I mean. I would love to give you a tissue, yeah. hater, whoever mm -hmm. you are, but yeah. we ain't got no. Throw you Sorry. in the trash and yeah. toss it out. Yeah, suck it up. Come <laughs> yeah. on. Bro. But you guys get it, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, okay. I'm gonna say it in Korean. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be easier for me to say it in I'm gonna try my best to translate it. So. <laughs> okay. 별난과 투성이 어디 가든 변함없이 그대로 있어. 근데 거리들은 번화하고 있어. 번화하고 있고 거리들은 바뀌고 어, 발전되고 있는데 
근데 그 거리 거리 거리마다 항상 그 걸리적거리는 새끼들이 있다고 <웃음> 근데 그 새끼들을 갖다 클린업하는 거야 그 새끼들을 치우라는 거야 yes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all understand? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Understand? You know what I'm saying? Because like I said uh, Yes, the mm-hmm. roads are flourishing mm-hmm. it's, it's all these roads around us And it's it, it's changing, you know mm-hmm. It's a city of soul But then they're saying But always Always, there seem to be these things that seem to get in your damn way. Right. And they're saying, clean it up. Mm-hmm. Clean it up. Yeah. So I, we were right about the trash, like I said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of savage. Ouch. Ouchies, yeah. Ouch. And then after that, they say, Oh my god. <laughs> they literally put a piece of trash in, in their, their lyrics. Yeah. Like, as in, so. <laughs> and they say, kick, 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 kick. Oh god. We're so immature. Yeah, but, but okay. it's so like god. You know, yeah, when we first read it, we were pretty like, yeah, we're like we were oh, like we're, laughing. We were like, oh, yeah. oh shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because what they're saying is. Like literally they kick it. Obviously, I saw in the music video. Uh-huh. You know, literally, he high kicks it. He done, he done. Yeah. Like, he done take one though, kicks but it. But they literally mean like kick it as in, you know, like cans. Yeah, like kicking you cans. cans. Like what they're saying mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. So cut means like the outside, the surface. And panjirudu means to be like. Uh, like smooth or slick mm-hmm. so it's like your outside the outside surface is slick and smooth but in the inside you're just an empty can bro right. you're empty <laughs> get your ass out of here bro what do we do as a kid when you see a piece of can on the road you kick it you kick it and yeah. guess where you try to kick it to at least i did with my friends yes you in the try sewer. no and either in the sewer mm-hmm. but I, we tried i know to kick... we shouldn't litter but yeah we should kids... no well i didn't do that somebody else did Sorry. that if anything i was trying to clean it up oh, oh, damn. Dude, you're one of those. I, oh i just i just totally like revealed myself okay i was a kid guys guys littering okay? is bad don't yeah litter. don't litter i don't Come do on. it anymore but i was Come a kid on. all right yeah i kicked <laughs> but... it in the sewer <laughs> it's okay yes. we get it okay. we get it it's okay you're getting red it's all good no i feel bad <laughs> <laughs> but jazz seemed to have kicked it in the sewer but for me like it was it was like a game mm-hmm. we would either try to shoot the cans in the oh uh, yeah you know mm-hmm. but we would also lay the trash can down and try to kick it in the trash can oh and take it good out the for trash. you straight <laughs> i wish i want to be on i want to lie and say we try to do that because we try to make cleaning up fun. yeah but it was for it was, but for it was play. really just for fun yeah yeah uh-huh. <laughs> it just happened to be good right right, right. <laughs> but do you get it so they're they're saying just kick it kick the can yeah like you're out of my, out get of out of my way dude yeah. you're in my way mm-hmm. bruh i know we already read the lyrics but that should hurt <sighs> that shit yeah ouch that like, hurts like the I more s- you keep talking about it the more it like hurts my heart a little bit because not because i know it's for me yeah. but it's just whoever they're talking about yeah it's like ouch it's like stray kids has mm-hmm. it, their way of writing lyrics and kind of shooting back at somebody mm-hmm. but not in an aggressive way right it's more in a way of like <clears throat> excuse me more in a way of like getting it where it hurts yes yeah anybody could just be like yeah yeah <laughs> like you know what I mean? anybody could do that <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying but it doesn't hurt but they you do it in a very classy way but them they're like yeah. we don't need to flip the bird at you we no. don't need to cuss at you nope. we just hit it where it hurts, hurts. we just <laughs> kick the cans <laughs> yeah Dude, god damn but anyways, after that is the pre-chorus, mm-hmm. which is in English, swerving. I'm speeding on a serpent road. Mm-hmm. That's dope because serpent roads are roads that are in, they're like zigzags. Right. They're like this. And but it, also, how do you speed on that too? You can't speed on that. Come on. Come on. But they speed on they it. They speed on that yeah. shit. They drift on that shit. <laughs> yeah. They're like, <laughs> and then, okay. Yeah, it's a serpent oh, road. I know. I was going this way. <laughs> oh, you're going this way. Yeah. Oh, okay, ready? Get ready? Get you. Ah! And, then, and then they're like, Wait. I got family. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all he obviously me. doesn't know what a serpent road is yeah, because... I do. I do. It's like the hairpin road. Okay, Ooh. yeah. I know what it is. I played He's... initial D. Okay. Come on, bro. Because it needs to be more aggressive than that, okay? I'm just, just trying to save my energy. It. I okay. saw what you were trying to do. You were just trying to hurt me. Like I said, okay. Jasmine Bay. Took hurting andy yes. like i said i saw I, I felt that shoulder bump it's a little true Come guys on. okay Come on. but serpent road but what does a serpent road also spell out s the letter s mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying oh, come I on bro so, so smart so witty so smart after it says luxurious like i'm an s class because mm-hmm. s class which is special class meaning people of like higher echelon mm-hmm. they're luxurious 
But what other luxurious class has an S class? Mercedes. Mercedes. They're driving and swerving in Swer Serpent mm. Road in their Mercedes. In the Issa class. Issa Ube. You know what I'm right. saying? Come on, bro. And after that, they say best of the best on first class. Like when you fly, first mm -hmm. class. I'm up above the world so high. Mm -hmm. I'll be there shining day and night. They wonder how my spotlight is so bright. Ah, love. They wonder. You see, you see yeah. the way they like Felix said that. Mm -hmm. They wonder how my spotlight is so bright. Right. Well, they about you about to find out. And I love how they said that the whole like S class, which is obviously meaning mm -hmm. they're on a plane and they go up. Exactly. You know what I mean? Come on, you fly high. High. Come yeah. on, and they drive the best. Right. Shh. Come on, but like I said, remember when they, when they said I'm up above the world so high? I felt like I don't know. I might be reaching with mm -hmm. this, but I feel like because of the lyric, it's like Twinkle Twinkle yeah, Little Star. Totally up above the world. Now that so we heard high. the song, yeah. The way you even Felix sing that uh -huh. part, it was Come totally on. like that. And then Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, uh -huh. Like, Ah, oh, yeah, man, it, I know. God damn, dude. I love this song. I, do I love too. I Honestly, kids, I love man. it even more after listening to the song. Like, we were already freaking out about the lyrics, uh -huh. but now that we actually heard the song, oh my goodness. Come on. I love man. it. They, oh, yeah. Stop it. Then the next part is the chorus, and they say, counting stars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dude, we need to learn this. Oh my. Come on, we got to learn it, dude. I got to learn this <laughs> so I can make sushi. <laughs> It's serious here. Yes. It's serious. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So what they're saying here is, That's me. My work. Bling, bling. So of all the weird ones, I'm the special one. That's me. Yeah. And then he says all sorts of weird things that are around me. That's my work. Right. Yeah. We do weird things. Our weird things is my work. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Cause I'm special. I'm yeah. weird because I'm special, right. dog. We did explain this part in our uh, teaser music video reaction. Exactly. But we will still explain it here yeah, too. So mm -hmm. before I get to my interpretation, let's talk about this. Um, so they you know how they the way they sing it, they go tuk, ba, e, ba, da, ba. So mm -hmm. there's a pause there. But like what I said, that's what they're they're saying tuk, as in my special ability is so it means star on star on star on star on star. And why? Because they say counting stars in the beginning. Yes. Meaning they're like of legendary class uh -huh. if you uh, compare them to a game character. Mm -hmm. It's pyol -e, pyol -e, star of a star of a star yeah. of a star of a star. Like, uh -huh. we're legendary. And I think that's why we're the, special. Yeah, in the music video, it seemed like they showed a lot of their past music videos. You could see similarities in there. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's them also showcasing the stars that they received in their last songs, exactly. last albums. And they're saying, mm -hmm. those were stars, those were stars, those were stars, mm -hmm. you know, and up until this point here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then they could also mean like, let's say, if you special, uh, I mean, if you separate the word tuk and pyol, it could mean special star. So he could mean like special star of a star of a star of a star of a star and pyolannom, as in like, of, of all those special stars, of all of the weird ones, of the weird ones, I am the weirdest one there, and that's me. <laughs> yes. And they're proud of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they're basically saying, okay, so what? Right. They're like flipping it on you. Because, yeah. you know, people maybe are calling them weird or mm -hmm. odd, which is the reason maybe that's why they say, you know, you know how they said, oh, your your music's too loud. So they made yeah. an album called Noisy. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, maybe someone called them odd. That's mm -hmm. why they're like, yeah, do you want to be ordinary? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we are weird. We are loud. Right. I and think, what? Yeah. And they're saying basically like, you're calling me Pyeonnanom, right? Mm -hmm. The odd weird. Right. But I'm, instead of, I'm that Pyeonnanom, I'm Tukbyeol. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tukbyeolhannom kind of thing. Like, you guys like, want like, to, they're trying to like, change that negative into a positive. Yeah, so basically mm -hmm. saying like, Tukbyeol means special, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like this. When someone calls you, ah, 진짜 별의 별난놈 다 있어. Mm -hmm. 별의 별난놈 다 있어. Mm -hmm. As in like, of all the weird ones, there's, you're like weird. Right. But then, Stray Kids is saying, yeah, I am a mm -hmm. I'm a tukbyeolhannom. Exactly. As in like, yeah, they're like flipping it on you. Right. Yeah, I am a pyeol. Trust me, I am. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a pyeolhannom. I'm, I'm a tukbyeolhannom. Oh. Yes. They're, ta they're basically yeah. taking what someone said negative Beautiful. towards them mm -hmm. and turning it into a positive. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Smart. You see Love what I mean? Uh -huh. They don't They don't try to just come at you like swinging and shit. They, mm -hmm. What they do is like... They're calculative. They're right. smart. Uh -huh. They'll hit you where it hurts. Yes. Like, come on, exactly. bro. And then after that, they say, every day, uh, 빛깔 번쩍, 빛깔 번쩍. 
uh, class and took. So mm -hmm. every day, pikal means like a color hue, mm -hmm. meaning like um, uh, the light color flashes. Pikal mm panjok, -hmm. the light color is flashing every day. And then he's saying, uh, 빛이 번져 더욱 빛나는 star. So the light spreads and the star shines even brighter. Mm -hmm. Why? Meaning the light, light, if the light spreads, means that your your star or your light has to shine bright enough mm -hmm. for it to spread that much. Yes. So they're saying, yeah, it's shining even brighter and brighter. Because yeah. each one of them are stars too. So imagine combining all eight of them. Exactly. All eight stars in one. Yo, it's going to keep shining, including the that's stays. That's right. Including the stays? <laughs> Honey. I also wanted to explain that it's true. Like, this is where the saying, you know, the saying, the odd one out. Mm. This is where it comes in, but the odd one out sounds negative. Yeah. It's like, we always say, yeah, that person's the odd one out. Mm -hmm. And when you hear that, like, as if like, when, when you're the odd one and someone says, yeah, like, this guy's the odd one out, like, you feel hurt, right? Of course. But, like what I said, Stray Kids is flipping it. Yes, we are the odd one out, but do you know why we're the odd ones out? Because we're special. Yeah. It's like this. If you're, it's like the album Ordinary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like this. You're in a singing competition. Mm -hmm. You sing the best. Mm-hmm. You see freaking well. You're right. the odd one out. Why? Because you're that good. Good, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what Stray Kids is saying. Like, they stand out not because they're bad, but they stand out because they're that good. They're just that special. Mm -hmm. They're different. Right. And that's the reason why we're different is because we're so goddamn good. Yeah. You know, we're good at what we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and because we're so good at what we do, yeah. it looks odd. Right. That's why we stand out. Exactly. You know I feel like saying? they're saying like other people might change mm -hmm with whatever happens, like right. whatever the trend is too, mm -hmm. right? They're gonna go with the trend, whatever the change is, because the world changes all the time. Right. You know, everything's always evolving and changing. Mm -hmm. But with Stray Kids, yes, they are evolving, but I feel like they're here saying, we are still staying the same though. Right. Why? Because we love the way we are. We love that we're different, odd. So we're gonna stay the same. We're gonna be true to mm -hmm. ourselves. And that's how we're gonna move on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With the stays too. <clears throat> You yeah. know, that's what uh, I think that's what they meant in the beginning. Right. You know, when they mean. say like yeah. uh, Soul City, the special city. Exactly. You know, and they yeah. say like, yeah, every like this, uh, the roads in Soul City are constantly like changing. Mm -hmm. They're constantly changing. Flur it's flourishing. Mm -hmm. It's bustling. Yeah. Like, but then the thing is, is, is that of those roads, though, there are going to be ones because it's changing. Yeah. There are going to be things that kind of get in your way yeah. because you're staying true to yourself mm -hmm. and we're never going to change. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what you got to do is you got to take the trash out then. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But also on that note, you would think that if you mm -hmm. don't change and go with what everybody's doing, you would think that you're falling back too. Right. But really, look at what Stray Kids is doing. They're mm -hmm. not changing. They're staying true to who they are. Mm -hmm. They're not following what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. And look at where they're at right now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They came so far mm -hmm. just staying true to who they are. Right. It's like, and if anyone tells you like, oh, you need to start evolving more and trying to go with what other people are saying and do what other people do, mm -hmm. like that's that's false. You yeah, don't. You straight, just... straight Kids is basically saying, look, yeah. like we love the trend, mm -hmm. but the thing is, we don't always follow the trend, yeah. and maybe that's why you don't like us. Yeah, but that's us. Yeah, they follow their heart and mm -hmm. look at where they're at. Mm -hmm. You just follow your heart. Come on, man. And then after that is verse two, mm -hmm. and this is Changbin and Han. They say. Hip hop step, 큼지막이 밝지, 특출한 게 특기. Oh my God! So in this verse, they're doing a whole. So you know, in the chorus, they do a whole 별 play, which is a star. You know what I mean? And in this verse, though, they do a whole 특 play. You know what I'm saying? And 특 means, like I said, special. And they're saying hip hop step, 큼지막이 밝지, 특출난 게 특출난 게 특기. As in, my hip hop step makes a big step. 특출난, 특출나다 means to be like outstanding. Right? And tukki means specialty. Mm -hmm. So being outstanding is my specialty. Because mm -hmm. in Korean, when it comes to being outstanding or being special as something, special anything, it always starts with the letter, with that word tuk. Mm. So they're saying tuk chul nada, as in I'm, I'm especially outstanding. Yes. And tukki, specialty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, being especially outstanding, <laughs> Yes. that's my specialty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. And it keeps going. Right. It says, <laughs> 내 지처럼 드나 들지 tuk. Cheap. Mm -hmm. So many Ooh. tooks. Again, like we uh, we said earlier, you guys, they just used that one damn word mm -hmm. and turned it into this whole like yes. so many different meanings. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy. It's crazy. That's why this line is super crazy uh -huh. too, because he says ne cheap, mm -hmm. as in my home, as if it's my home. Ne cheap 
cheap. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole. There's a cheap play on top of that, right. which is a home, which means home. And what he's saying here is, I come and go as if it's my own house, like a special feature. Mm -hmm. Meaning, like, yo, like I come and go, like I go on, go on someone's song and I feature and I do this and I do these features. I, I do, I, I go in and out of these songs as if it's my own song, as if it's my own house. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. And it's a special feature because why? Because I'm special. And I'm featuring in it. Because tuk chip means yes. like a special feature. So love that. Come on. And then they say tuk chip because mm -hmm. he says chip in the beginning. So he says my home as if like ne chip mm -hmm. as if it's my home. And he says tuk chip, like that's a that's a freaking punch. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a wha bam. <laughs> right. That's that's a bar, dude. Dude. I go in and out of this. I go as in and out as if it's my own ho -ho. home jeep. Yes. Like a took jeep. Uh huh. Woo. Like they're basically saying whatever song I feature into, mm -hmm. it's, it's done. It's done. It's gonna be mm -hmm. like the freaking top charts. You know what I mean? Yeah. I go in and out of it. It's like it's just my home. It's natural. It's natural. I just take my slippers off. Mm -hmm. You know. It don't like, matter yeah, what type sit of song. On the song. couch, like it's easy. It's like it's as basically saying like I go in other people's songs. Mm hmm. In my interpretation, yeah. I'm not sure if this is what they mean, but this is the way I looked at it. It's kind of like, look, like I feature in these songs and I do features as if it's like it's my own home, as if it's my own song. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm special. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh. Ow. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> and after that, they say, so he just keeps going on with the tuk. Mm -hmm. So, 작업실 means like a studio. And it, 안 부러워 특실, 부럽다 means to be like envious, mm -hmm. right? So he's saying, I'm not envious of a studio, I have a suite. <laughs> so 특실 is, if you look at the word in itself, 특실 means literally a special room. Mm -hmm. But they call like, <clears throat> like sweets, mm -hmm. a tukshu. Why? Because it is special. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah, Shit special. is expensive as shit. Yeah. Not anybody could just go in there. On, 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 you know on, on a saying? lucky day, we get a sweet. Maybe. On a, that's, a, that's like a... My dreams, I get a sweet. <laughs> God damn, dude. And I mean like a sweet sweet. Yeah. Like, that's what they're saying. That's why they're not jealous of a... Or envious of a studio. Because mm -hmm. I don't need one. I go, I go I do my shit in yeah. a suite, bruh. Which makes sense because y'all know they write music even when they go on tours. Yeah. And they have a suite. You Come know on. what I'm saying? So. And guess what? That's sweet. <laughs> oh, god damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after that, they say, Tukshil, Tukshil, Goryo, Tokbo, Jogin, Tukjing. Ooh. Keep going Dude. with that. This shit is. Dude, I swear, oh my the god. word took is gonna haunt me in my dreams. Yeah, it's like, yeah. The whole song, they literally were like, you know what? We're just gonna go ham yeah. with the word took, took and yeah. ham with the word pyo, yeah. and ham with the word took pyo. Like, like, and they just went ham. Like, yeah, there's layers literally. to this. Yeah. And then oh. uh, right here, what they're saying is, tukshil, tukshil, gori. Tukshil, tukshil, gori. That means to be swarming, and tokpo jogin tukjing. Tokpo jogida means to be like unrivaled. So they're saying it's swarming. Being unrivaled is my uh, tukjing. Tukjing means my like special characteristic. Mm -hmm. So that's my special characteristic is that I'm unrivaled. <laughs> Why? Look at all these swarm of people around right. me. Like the music am, video. Yeah, yes. exactly. I'm unrivaled, bro. Right. I'm unmatched. Yes. It's like getting that special character in your game after all that hard work. Uh -huh. And no one can ever beat that special character. Yeah. No one can it's beat my OP. executor right now. They're huh? basically straight kids. Yeah. Is that OP character. Right. Like I was saying, no one can be my executor right now. That was random. Oh, yeah. that but was I just random. had to I was say like, it. I was like, God damn. Yeah, on Pokemon Go, she caught an executor. <laughs> He's so strong. And God damn, dude. dude all my she, battles I've been winning, I, don't winning. I don't need to flip to the other character, uh, other Pokemon either. Right. I just kill all three with my executor. Damn, dude, her pineapple character is yeah, killing everybody. <laughs> but anyways, guys. But anyways, yeah, okay. We're, we got off topic. Yeah. But after that, he says, Turibon, Turibon, Ojung, Tojung, Tiam, Tiam, Bunen, Ediri. <laughs> 번쩍 번쩍 빛나는 것들만 보면 달려 버릇이. Yeah, Oof. all these onomatopoeias. Yeah, you say I struggle through mm -hmm. that right now. Okay, let me read it again. 두리번 yeah. 두리번 어중 떠중 띄엄 띄엄. Those three are onomatopoeias mm -hmm. of the way like a person looks right. or stares. They're like it's like this when they go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 두리번 두리번 is kind of like when you're unsure and you're just kind of like like. Like what's going on? When you're lost, when like, you yeah. look lost. Yeah, kind of like yeah. What's, go what's going on? That's turibon turibon. Mm -hmm. And then ojung tojung, as in like, uh, ojung tojung is kind of like ojunghada. 
like 어중간하다. Like you're in. Oh, I said 어중간하다. Yeah, 어중간하다. Yes. Yeah, like kind of like you're not you're not really on this side. Mm-hmm. You're not really on that side. Mm-hmm. So in a way, it also means like unsure. Mm-hmm. Kind of like uh, I don't want to be too, you know, on this side. But I don't want to be. They're, they're basically, they're, they're lukewarm. Yes. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to. They basically, if I were to put it simply, it's kind of like. Well, I, I don't want to be a Stray Kids fans, but what? I want to be Stray Kids mm-hmm. fans. You know what I'm saying? They're saying, imagine the looks on their faces. Yeah. That's ajung right. tojung, literally. They're just being stubborn at that Man, point. They're just being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like you don't want this, you don't want that. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> yeah. What do you want? It's not that simple. <laughs> I know it isn't. Sometimes it isn't. <laughs> But after that, he says tiam tiam. Tiam tiam is kind of like sparsely, mm. you know. And then he's saying those those edel those kids are looking in those ways. And mm-hmm. he's saying 번쩍 번쩍 빛나는 것들만 보며 보면 달려 버릇이. So so he's saying. <laughs> Your habits, these kids look like that, mm-hmm. like those onomatopoeias I just explained. Mm-hmm. They look around like that, but these kids have this bad habit of only chasing whatever they see that shines. Uh-huh. They're chasing anything that shines. Right. And then after that, they say, "빛나는 걸 쫓기보단 빛나는 쪽이 되는 게 훨씬 품 잡기 편해." Wow. Shine like a shine, uh, shine like oh, a dog. I, I, thought, I thought you said, oh, <laughs> oh, he almost said a cuss word uh, right uh, now. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! <yeah. laughs> I was Is like, that what Stray Kids said? I was like, I was like, 빛나는 걸 쫓기보다 빛나는 쪽이 되는 게 훨씬 폼 잡기 편해. 쌍 놈의 새끼들아. You know what I'm saying? But what they, they're saying, shine like a diamond. Okay? Yes. That's not what they said. That's, That's not what, what I said. said. Yes. And I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay. But what they're saying right there is also kind of like, like I said, these kids who are so unsure of themselves mm-hmm. look around and only seem to chase whatever that shines Mm -hmm. and stray kids sees that and they're saying look instead of chasing shiny things Mm -hmm. maybe you should become the shiny shiny thing thing, and i promise you it's much easier to Uh show off that way right it's like that saying don't chase money don't chase fame Mm -hmm. don't chase like all of those right mm-hmm. so just, again like we said earlier just stay true to yourself follow your heart mm-hmm. why did you do this like whatever you're trying to do right, right now whether it's for in their case becoming artists writing music you know why did you start this because you love it mm-hmm. so just go with that don't mm-hmm. try to do it just because you're like i want to become a millionaire right. i want to become this superstar mm-hmm. if you do that You're not gonna see it. It's kind of like you might, but yeah. you might lose it quick. It's it's like being true to yourself. Yes. It's like what straight kids are doing. Mm-hmm. Are doing like they stay true to their style and true to themselves. Mm-hmm. And, and look th- at where it got them. And look at where it got them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they're saying, and the reason why they say horshim pum jaki pione, meaning like it's much comfort. I bet I promise you, it's much more comfortable to show off. Mm-hmm. In that way, actually yes. becoming the shiny thing. Yes. Because start from the bottom. Yeah, because imagine you trying to show off mm-hmm. when you're chasing the shiny thing. Yes. It's not comfortable because you don't really know what you're doing because you don't know yourself. Mm-hmm. So you're showing. What are you really showing off? Mm-hmm. What you're doing is you're basically copying them because right. you're chasing it. But let's say you become the shiny thing by being true to yourself. It's much more comfortable to show off because at least you're showing off your true self. Mm-hmm. You're showing off what you're really good at. Yeah. And there's no shame in showing off, showing off what you're very good at. Yeah. You know what you, I'm saying? You know, it's like again, I'm gonna use a Pokemon reference because we've been talking about Pokemon, <laughs> I love Pokemon. and we were talking about shiny Charizard. Uh-huh. But it's like this: imagine you really, really want a tra- shiny Charizard. I really want one, mm-hmm. but I'm not gonna go out of my way and go around the whole world. Just to find a ch- shiny Charizard, I'm gonna tire myself out. I'm wasting my time. Cause to be honest, you can try to go find it, but yo, that shit's hard. Y'all yeah. know how rare that is. Chan, you know give I mean? us a tip. I know, Whew. but one day, like what happened with Chan, it showed up. It, just it showed up. up, and he was able to catch it. Mm, Do you patience. know what I mean? So patience, right? You're saying. Yes, patience is a virtue. Come That's on. That's my saying, you guys. It really mm-hmm. is. And it's like, don't tie your, yourself out. Don't wear yourself out trying to chase this thing. If it'll come to you, it will come to you. But like, I really like that line mm-hmm. because it's like literally don't, like what Jasmine said, it's like chasing, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, what's funny is, is that it's actually very uh, easy to chase because mm-hmm. sometimes you're doing it and you don't even know you're We've doing it. We've done it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't even know you're doing it. Yeah. But 
you come to realize as you go and go and you find that something that you really love mm -hmm. that's when you stop chasing yeah. because you're like i really love this yes i really love this and i want to pursue this mm -hmm. and i want to do the best i can with this mm -hmm. and that's when you're true yeah. like your trueness comes out right. in those ways and it like, might slip out of your hands if you go too fast mm -hmm. too sometimes because if you're yeah. if you're not true and honest with what you do no matter how much you chase it it's not going to shape up to what you want to do mm -mm. you got to create what you want to create mm -hmm. in your own true way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In your own pace. In your my own, pace. My pace. Come on, bro. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And then next is the bridge. And I love the bridge. God damn, the bridge is beautiful the yes. way they wrote it. So I feel like the brightest star. Ah, that's so that's so beautiful because mm -hmm. what he's saying is I feel like the brightest star, a night where the light pours. As I look at the sky, I see myself embroidered everywhere. Mm. So when you look up at the sky, there's so many stars, mm -hmm. right? So sunota means literally like embroider something, right? But then, you know, there's like, you know, constellation embroider embroideries and mm -hmm. stuff, right? So it looks like an embroidery because it's like, it's like these like, it's so bright in the, right. in the sky. But in Korean in general, though, when they say that in, in uh, like about the stars in the sky, in the sky they say, mm -hmm. as in like there's so many stars, mm -hmm. right? And they're saying, So, oh my God. Yeah. So he's saying, it doesn't fall down. Like mm -hmm. I see these stars, there's so many of them. And then like the light is pouring from it. Mm -hmm. And then he's saying, I see myself embro embroidered every everywhere because they're stars. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it doesn't fall down either. Mm -hmm. We stay there. Why? Because we're true to ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it says, simply stay in one place. Yeah. Stay, stay in, in one, one place. place. <laughs> we don't even need to explain that. Y'all know what they're trying to say. What, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, so sweet. And then, uh, this one. Mm -hmm. Now, this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This one <laughs> is gonna come, it's gonna give me nightmares. Yeah. Cause this one line uh -huh. I struggled with. I wrote like in this right. whole thing right here. It's just that one line. Is that what is for that one line? Uh -huh. So after that they say, "Pinal Guang es haramin." So, 그게 바로 우리 소개말. We're special. So what they're saying here is, "Pinal Guang es haramin." I'm a person, if you just literally translate that line, it's, I'm a person of light. Mm -hmm. But this line is a double meaning. That line is actually referring to a Chinese character or Chinese characters that describes and introduces themselves. So uh, we still use Chinese characters in Korea. Like in most cases, when we're born and we're given Korean names, mm -hmm. those Korean names are Chinese characters and has meaning. So to explain, this i'm gonna use an example and i'm gonna use jasmine's name as an example because she has a very very beautiful name <laughs> her name is kunhua right her name kunhua has a meaning so kun as in mugunghwa mugunghwa kot as in mugunghwa kot is the rose of sharon which is the national flower of korea and hua as in flower mm -hmm. so those have chinese characters mm -hmm. and if jasmine were to let's say introduce herself she would say hi my name is kunhua Kunhua as in the rose of the flower rose of Sharon. Mm -hmm. That's like what they would say. They say the meaning of their name mm -hmm. when they but introduce obviously themselves. Korean. Uh -huh. Obviously they would say that in Korean. Mm -hmm. So in this case, like I said, even after that line, they say, Sogemar means our introduction. Mm -hmm. So they're introducing themselves. And guess what? Their introduction is Pinar Kwang is Haramin. So Kwang in Chinese character means to shine. Mm -hmm. to be lit right and then he's saying saram in as in the in in that word it means human in chinese characters so if you were to shorten it and use that as an introduction they're basically saying hi i'm kwang in mm -hmm. as in uh, i'm kwang in kwang as in bright and shiny and in as in human. So I'm a Kwang in. I'm a mm -hmm. human of light. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a person of light. Right. That's so beautiful. That's a double because mm -hmm. so if you were to just literally translate it, the first the first meaning would be I'm a person of light. Just right. simply. Mm -hmm. Right? The double is uh Pinna Kwang as in I'm a person of light. But the double meaning is is that like I said, we introduce ourselves like that. So if I said I'm a Kwang in, that means I'm 
Kuang as in shiny and in as in human. Mm -hmm. As in I'm a literally shiny a person human. of light, mm -hmm. a shiny human. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how you use it. You could literally say that and say I'm a person of light, light, or you could say it as in like I'm a shiny human, right. like Kuang in. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Right. But so this might be a reach. I don't know. This mm -hmm. might be a reach, but, but I, I think it makes hundred percent. It does sense. make sense though. Yeah. But there, I feel like there's a third meaning. This could be a triple. And I'm only saying I'm reaching, but they because they literally stated, "pinai kuang" as yeah. in shiny kuang, yeah. as in kuang, in the Chinese character that shiny. means shine. Mm -hmm. But the third meaning, I feel like it could be means like kuang has another way of right you could write kuang in another way in chinese not just shiny but you could write it as crazy like maniac, maniac. Uh -huh. you know what i'm saying because like think about it they could literally mean i'm a shiny maniac mm -hmm. type of person yes makes sense right why guys? because in the song they say i'm a weird one mm -hmm. i'm a weird one and that's me mm -hmm. so because i'm a maniac i'm weird but I swear to you, I am a shiny, shiny maniac. maniac. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a person that's a shiny maniac. Mm -hmm. I feel like it could be read in those ways right. too. I think it makes 100% sense. Think about Considering that. Considering their song, previous song, Maniac. Mm -hmm. You right. know what I mean? Even their albums, mm -hmm. Ordinary and all that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I think it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Because, like I said, this mm -hmm. shit really blew my mind. Because, right. think about it. They're introducing themselves. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm a Kwangin, mm -hmm. as in I'm a person of light. Hi, I'm a Kwangin, as in Pinnai Kwang, shiny Kwang, and Saram In, mm -hmm. as in like In, as in human. I'm a Kwangin. Or he could literally mean Kwangin as, as in like I'm a maniac type of person. Uh -huh. I'm a crazy person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But guess what? I still shine. Exactly. Because I'm crazy. Right. I'm cray cray. And I'm different. And I'm different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. And then the next part is verse three. And they say, Stray kids, mm. Ooh, they team and took Ooh, they're going on with that took again. again. Uh -huh. Guess what? Took means special task forces. Mm -hmm. So they're saying the team behind me yeah. that you see yeah. that's special task forces, dog. Yeah. They about to get you, man. Right. Again, again. They about to get you. They about to turn you into a Swiss cheese. Yo, what if that octopus was their task force? You know, their special task force. Oh shit. Because think about it. I think that octopus was on their side. I like that off. I do. I do like. I him. like that. It was cute because yeah. you know at the he end. Had the Goggles, no, just goggles. like Hyunjin, but Hyunjin's was hard. Man, they should have gave him one. He's a Cyclops. They had two. <laughs> right, that doesn't God make damn. any sense. Yeah. But, but it was cute, though. It was though. freaking cute. It was really cute, uh, Okay, though. correct me if I'm wrong, guys. It was, but it, he was jamming out. He yeah, was like, yeah, I know, I know. But correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like that octopus, that Cyclops octopus was on their side. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it. It's Lino. Yeah. I know, it's, I swear, I guys. Swear, let me dude, know if you guys thought the same thing. Dude, that oh. thing reminded me of Lino because that shit haunts me. Because every time I open up my YouTube... <laughs> she got real, no, literally, she I was in bed scared. and she thought she, she like I, almost I, threw her phone. I got so scared. Yeah, so it's forever in my heart now. But yeah, I think maybe that's it, it their special be. task force. Yeah. What, what do you guys think? Yeah. Let us know. Right. But that shit is dope because they, they're continuing on with that play with Took. Mm -hmm. Like... There's layers to this, bro. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Like, oh. I probably, I'm pro I probably missed so much yeah. already. <sighs> we apologize if this is still confusing for you yeah, guys. Yeah, I, I tried my best because, like, mm -hmm. uh, like, if I were to explain this in full Korean, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I, I would know how to explain this. Right. But explaining this in English, there's like just no way in the English language for me to explain this in. Yes. But I, I'm trying my best. I hope you guys understand, mm -hmm. and I hope you guys are enjoying up yes. until now. But Moving on, they say stage we could chachero igon tuk So they're again like, continuing on. So what they're saying is on top of the stage itself, it's a special stage. Because mm -hmm. whenever they're basically saying it don't matter what stage we get on, as long as we, we step foot it, on hmm? that stage, it's a special stage. Damn. And it is. They ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, they ain't lying, guys. They ain't lying. We've been to their concerts. They're truthing. Yeah. They're truthing. Yeah. Come on. And there's a line in here that I really like. Mm -hmm. It says 불투명함은 분명하게 바꿔 거듭 되새겨 눈에 띄는 텐션 몰입하는 객석 우리 빛이 하나가 돼 여기 모든 것을 밝혀 yeah. I love that Me line too. What they're saying is We review and change anything that's unclear and we make it clear yeah. <laughs> 
I like the way you said it. Well, we make <laughs> it clear. clear. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> 불투명하다 means to me like like it's not transparent. Mm -hmm. Like it's unclear. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We make it 투명해. We make it clear. Mm -hmm. And we review it and we make it clear again. Yeah. And then they say the tension that's catching eyes, the audience is immersed. Why? Like like they said, when we set foot on stage, whatever like, the stage <gasps> may be, mm -hmm. it's a special stage. Yeah. So guess what? It's catching eyes. Right. Why? Because they're so energized on stage that it's they're, they're, it's catching people's attention. Mm -hmm. Like, because it's so, the tension is rising on stage yeah. every time Stray Kids gets on stage because right. they're so powerful yeah. on stage and it's catching eyes. Mm -hmm. And they're saying the audience gets immersed from that. They're immersed, they're focused on them. Mm -hmm. And then they say, mm -hmm. As in, our light becomes one. Right. And reveal everything around us. Yes. Because again, when there are eight of them. Become one, including the stays. Yes. When it, that's why they said audience, as in the stays. <laughs> With them in the stage, they're bright. And when they get lit, the audience get lit. Yeah. It shines even brighter right. then. And I like how they did that with the stage in the lyric too because mm -hmm. it's like the stage it gets lit like there's lights everywhere the performance is lit there's fire everywhere mm -hmm. do you know what I mean everything just gets bright mm -hmm. that whole concert is just bright you guys mm -hmm. if y'all been to a Stray Kid concert it makes sense no literally like they're basically uh -huh. saying like we're so damn bright uh -huh. that when we've set foot on stage we reveal everything mm -hmm. around us mm -hmm. You know how bright you have to be to they reveal a stage? Yeah. And guess what they do? do they, they do. do that. That's what I'm saying. They like, really do. They reveal the stage so bright yeah. that I saw home from the BMO stadium. <laughs> yeah. Literally. I was like, oh shit, that's my house right there. <laughs> With all jokes aside though, like, there's just layers to this song. Mm -hmm. We probably miss so much. Yeah. But like, there's just layers. Like, like I said, it's like a jawbreaker. Mm -hmm. Like, you can lick and lick and lick and lick. And then what you'll see is, is that the white part of the jawbreaker mm -hmm. turns into red mm -hmm. and it turns into blue and mm -hmm. it turns into green and it starts and revealing itself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's what this song is like. That's Stray Kids. Even with their lyrics, just like a jawbreaker, there's layers. Mm -hmm. There's layers to it. They right. can, like even the title in itself, took it means special. Mm -hmm. Took as in maybe even as a slang, as a special ability. Took mm -hmm. as in like special. Mm -hmm. It's just another way of saying special. Yeah. And then if you separate took and it means special star. And they talk about anything that's special and they talk about stars. <laughs> like It goes on. It just goes on. And they it, talk about light. Uh -huh. Why? Because stars emit light. They're bright. Like There's just layers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I said this in another video, a previous video, but Stray Kids, they are allowed to flex. They're you allowed know what I mean? to flex. It makes I don't sense care. when they make songs like this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even make you go, uh, yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, you guys can flex, no, I guess. Dude, no, it's is... like, you better go on and flex. They're like allowed to, uh -huh. like, and no one can say anything because mm -hmm. it's a fact. You know what I mean? Look at the numbers. Look at where they're at. Look. Go on and flex, Drake. Go on and flex. Yeah. Chan, Seriously. flex. And can I put my head right here? Huh? Oh, what about so, Changbin? Oh, oh Chang, I can't do it in Chang. Dude, dude, he's gonna freaking turn my head into a pancake. Dude. Oh my god. This is such a good song. I was looking at the lyrics, mm -hmm. and this is by far, if not the most, yeah. like challenging deconstruction I did. Yeah, I know it might have not sound like it, but it's because we like already like we literally dissected it. We, di we try to dissect as much as we can, right? Because usually I do it on the top of my head. Yeah, but this one I just could not. Like yeah. there were information in there where if I know one, I need to know this and also this, and mm -hmm. there's no way of like remembering all of that. And then. While reading it, you saw me. I would, I'd be like, oh my god, I need I need to stop looking at this. Like, my <laughs> eyes started hurting. Yeah. My eye sockets started hurting. I was like, right. holy shit. But, no, they're geniuses, but guys. But they're so smart. They're like, so smart. There is such a thing as too much. Mm -hmm. And if you dive in too much and write, try to write something too crazy, it could be too much. Yeah, it gets but, messy. But, oh, Not man. Them. So organized. Uh huh. So, like... It's classy. It's just... it's. That's the word I use it, it's for just, them. It really is. It's just S-class. This mm -hmm. song is literally S-class. -class. Yeah. Like, it's took for sure. It's like what it, we oh. said. Like, when they write lyrics, especially, you know... Of course, those songs are great too, you know, where they're like literally bashing on someone, like the haters and things like that. Yeah. They, it's like, it's still ouchy. it's juicy. Of course, it's yeah. still juicy and ouchy. We still love it. But the way Stray Kids does mm -hmm. it, again, I'm gonna use this word, but they do it in such a classy way. I feel like Stray Kids slap, when they slap back, mm -hmm. it's like, oh shit, like if someone were to say this shit to me, 
like I would not have a comeback. I think I would like, get humbled. I would be you know? humbled. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to say to that. Totally. Like, because everything they say is true. It's true. They're not. They even, can back up what they say. They're not flexing what they're wearing. Yeah. The chains. Yeah, chains. Watches, they're flexing whatever. their talent. <laughs> And their success. Yeah, which is a fact. <laughs> How do you yeah. argue with that? Exactly. There's no, you, can. you can't. So, this is honestly, the song was, like I said, amazing. Like, uh -huh. it was more hype oh than I would have thought even by just reading the lyrics. Like, it was so hype, you guys. The beat choice, too. The music, and the dance. The dance. Yo. The beat choice where it goes. <sighs> I like, love like very hard mm -hmm. in the beginning, right? With the hard bass, and it slows down with Hunjin. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it, uh -huh. goes into '90s with right. the synth, and then oh, and there's R and B. Yes. Like it just keeps changing, and it's so the fun. Voices are to, beautiful. It's so fun to listen it to. It is Come again, on, like bro. what Andy said way before. They're the Skittles. They're Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Taste the man. rainbow, bro. Yeah. But mm. anyways, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, again, yes. we made sense, or Andy more so than me, but hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. we made some sense into mm -hmm. the lyrics. Again, if you guys were confused about one part, let mm -hmm. us know. Maybe mm -hmm. we'll try to, like, get back to you right. and try to, like, type it for you, if mm -hmm. anything. But let us know how you guys reacted to yes. the music video, your guys' interpretation mm -hmm. of the song. And if you enjoyed this reaction and lyric time, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye! Bye. Thank you guys again for watching. If you want similar videos, you can click on the links right over here. And if you guys want to follow us on our social media, our links will be right below. So let's continue to get crazy. crazy.